Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing the Spec Ops The Line playthrough, and, uh, boy, you know, our guy is not doing well, um, with, with what all is happening here. Um, we're supposed to go find Adams, uh, the other, uh, team member who carries the, um, the, the saw at this point, the squad automatic weapon. Um, we're supposed to follow the smoke to get to him, but, um... We've just had kind of a, some sort of vision or some sort of, you know, mental issue where, uh, you know, it seems like there were a whole lot of people alive in the city before we got here, but maybe, you know, they're, they're, we're making a lot fewer people alive in the city. Um, so... No names. They, they just said Walker moving in. Gosh dang it. Yeah, that is going to be tricky. Getting, getting to Adams before. Come on up. Let ourselves heal just a little bit here. All right. Can we go behind it? You know what I don't need right now? Sass. Adams. Can you move? Hold them off. I'm trying, man, but I gotta tell you, I got nowhere to hide. <laughs> I'm trying to take cover. Oh, gosh. Wow. Get in the cover. Where are you, man? Oh, over there. Oh, What do you need? <laughs> like, you're like, get back here. Don't abandon me. And I get back there and you're like, no, I'm good. That's one. If I can't see your legs, I can't aim for them, okay? Fuck you, son of a bitch. Get the fuck off back. Cover me. I'm reloading. Yeah, obvious reminder, I don't think I said it at the beginning of this episode, but this this particular game is not uh, not family friendly. The commentary is, but the game... The game is not. Whoa. It's a heavy. Family to deal with this. Reloading. 
I am completely out of ammo. Okay. Elite soldiers can be identified by their dark uniforms and distinctive insignia. Be careful. I did not want to vault that. What, what am I? What am I? I don't get what I'm supposed to do for him at this point. Um, I know there's an ammo crate over there, but at this point, I have one gun and my big pistol. Need something else. I don't want to have to shoot. Do you, Adams? Do you got my back? I definitely can't see him, so you gotta tell me. You're fine. Conrad, I think we can still save these people, and I'm not gonna let him stand in our way. Right, because that plan's worked out great so far. Yeah, I'm right. Asking your opinion, Lieutenant. At least, at least they're starting to push back. Oh man. All right, now let's see if we can find the other guy. At least they are starting to question, like, hey, your plans aren't working out good. Yeah. Walker, Adams, where the hell are you guys? I'm pinned down in Conrad's backyard. I got no weapon, and my fucking arms broke. Lugo, Lugo, fuck, I lost him. Signal puts him somewhere north of here. That's a start. Let's move. These people have seen the end of the world. No food. No water. No hope. Friends dead. Family butchered. They live in hell. And yet, they still take time to smell the dying roses. I get why the Colonel does what he does. But if these people can still muster enough soul to create art, maybe there's more than he sees. I've been thinking a lot about Murrow broadcasting out of Blitz London. Mm. He helped people. He showed him something that the Nazis couldn't flatten. That truck out front has an old CB. If just maybe I could put my hands on some, some speakers, I, I, I wouldn't that be something? Hmm. Alright. 
So it was Radio Man. Reloading. Sounds like the Colonel was willing to sacrifice the people or something. Get into cover. Eyes and ears, now. Got a sniper camping at both. Need to get closer. We're gonna take him out. Moving target! Moving for the kill. He's in the open! What? Never been a big fan of the Scar H. I think I see an ammo crate. We're going for it. I can't shoot him through. I mean, I could shoot him through him, but I, you probably don't want me to. Great. Okay. That looked like one of their elite troop snipers, and he looked like he was using a different gun. I am intrigued to see what other sniper rifles we might have available to us here. Looked like it had a huge muzzle brake on God, it. Son of a bitch. Like a 50 cal or a 338 Lapua or something like that. I don't know. We're Oscar Mike. Got one moving. God damn it! Taking heavy fire. Where? But notice that our guy conti ooh, continues to look more and more psychotic. Out of sight. Coming to get you. Gotta move, Walker. Patrol headed this way. There they are. It's fucking late. <laughs> yeah, it was a big old sniper rifle back there. Give it a try. Just capping these birds. 
Excuse me. You there? Oh boy, I don't know. Reloading. <laughs> Fifty caliber, probably. Anti-material. Alright, where are we going? Can I drop down? We're Oscar Mike! Two o'clock! Hostile shooting from that hole! Take cover! He's wide open! He's dead! Guys, I'm getting chewed up over here. Throw it, sticky grenade. Like, you make it really hard for me to shoot you in the legs when you hide behind stuff the whole time. Really quite challenging. I'm gonna regret having picked up that sniper rifle. Jeez. That one. That one. I'm not interested. In. I don't, I don't even feel particularly bad about that one. Boss, we got another sniper! guy? Nope. Oh, yeah. Okay. Enemy down! I've got movement! Yeah. <sighs> Running out of ammo once again. Stun grenade, great. Skinny on the ammo. I'm trying to reload too. Reload? Flash grenade did literally nothing to that guy. I just need. Like, I'm not even seeing. seeing ammo crate. I saw a reload option over here, but. Somewhere else you can hide. I got a refugee camp nearby. I'll hold up there till you finish stirring the shit. Sounds good. Mm. We'll regroup once the area is secure. Don't, don't, don't mix in with the refugees, man. This, that ends poorly. Sure, he's gonna pull through this. It's 
fucking broken arm. We both lived through worse. You know damn well it's not what I'm talking about. There's something on your mind. Why don't you say it already so we can get back to work? This whole mission is fucked. We just took out a tower full of American troops. They didn't leave us any choice. You didn't leave us any choice! What the fuck happened to us, man? Nothing. We're fucking soldiers. Oh, I see. My mistake. happened well what okay all right so my guy didn't my guy didn't help me at all with the guy who ran at us with the knife okay yeah i mean i get it Understand that, like, fuck you. I don't want this any more than you guys. Kill is fucking confirmed. Out of Adams, come on now. that grenade symbol hostile down that's all you feel better now not even close let's just get lugo works for me get him on the radio tell him we're clear yo lugo you read adams adams oh shit lugo what's happening Talk to us, Lugo. Get the fuck! Just stay the fuck away from me! Get back! Get the fuck back! The soldiers must have fallen. We gotta move! This is the 
refugee camp. Living in boats. Ah, uh, the ref refugees are killing him. Or, you know, beating him, whatever. Sudden darkness. Why? Get ready. The Rovok! Shoot the roof! Everyone back now! Come on, Billy. Get your ass up! You heard him! Back up! Right now! I said back the fuck up! Hurry up, Walker! Breathe, Lugo! They ain't taking the hit! God damn it, breathe! How's he doing? Answer me, Walker! Come on, Lugo! Is he breathing? Move back, or I will open fire! Damn it! These assholes ain't stopping! Dang. They're boxing us in! Damn it, Lugo! You better fucking pray he makes it! Let me take him, Walker! Sir, permission to open fire! I need you to give the word! Walker! Give me the fucking word! No. No, no, no. Go! Why you still can? Fucking animals! Get the fuck out of here! Run! Faster! You still feel like saving these people? They're calling us butchers. I went with, with a melee. Oh, there we go. Half of Conrad's men are swinging from lampposts. Black eyes, swollen tongues. The rest are emptying clips into civilians, calling it resource management. All on Colonel Conrad say so, and yet these people worship him. Why shouldn't they, right? They're clothed, fed, sheltered. And until we showed up, relatively safe from harm. These people killed Lugo to protect Conrad. I kill them to protect myself. At least that's what I'm telling myself today. We didn't. We didn't kill him, did we? I thought. I thought we just. I guess maybe. I don't know. My intention there was to push the civilians back, not to shoot them. Uh, I don't know. If you're listening, Colonel, here's what happens now. I'm gonna kill every last one of your men, and then I'm gonna kill you. Sergeant Lugo is dead. For that, I will give no quarter. You brought this on yourself. We keep getting closer to that building, but it's like we never actually get there. You okay? Do I look okay to you? What happened to Lugo isn't our fault. Don't tell me what I already know. Lugo's blood is on your hands, not mine. Bang. Conrad deserves to die, you know that. And what do we deserve? I think we both know the answer to that. Nothing good. So... How we gonna do this? Kill everything that fucking moves. Sounds like a plan.
Trying to kill that guy. Uh, come on, come on! You gotta, uh, you gotta. Uh. Kill is fucking confirmed. I'm not even gonna have enough ammo to deal with this. Jeez. Sniper rifle will kill an enemy in one shot, no matter where you hit. Ready? Them. Why not? No one lives well. Still fire. Let's do this. Shut him down. they get to the point where they're throwing grenades back here we're gonna be You gotta get to cover, man. You're just sprinting blindly. This is so stupid. <laughs> the A button. Oh, man. Taking out the gun or something. I'm not you wanted sure. him dead, you should have done it 
Believe me, I want to be aiming for legs here, but at this point, I just want to get this done with. Like, that like the dirt and like the burn on our guy's face is like indicative of like know, some choices we've made or something like that kind of like the the shrapnel horn in Metal Gear 5 Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, of course there was somebody back there Explosives are full. Desert Eagle. Ammo. Wonder if, Here I go. Wonder if there was a way we could have saved On the move. Cover me. Pay attention to that shotgun. The other guy. P90, where's the P90? Come on. Somebody had to drop it now. I'll try and flank him. Cover there me. There it is. Play cover fire. Move up. Taking heavy fire. This hmm. is slowing me down. Yeah, man. I'm right there with you. I just can't see anything in there. That's what. None of us wanted that. me through an interesting area there's some intel right there as an occupying force it is important to set a good example as such please keep in mind the following protocols grooming standards are to be kept at all times no fraternization with civilians of any kind. When off duty, please keep music, etc., at a reasonable volume, so as not to disturb the local population. Absolutely no drugs or stimulants except as provided by medical personnel. Alcohol restricted to one beer per soldier per day <laughs> with a meal as available all right share time on the putting green or access will be revoked each offense will warrant five demerits five demerits receives an official warning 10 two weeks hard labor 15 public flogging looting and excessive force are not tolerated and will be met with the strictest punitive measures <sighs> all right well we have a code of conduct Through here, all right. So we're still on the outskirts of this building. Don't let Delta reach that gate. Light him up now. Willie 
getting shot from. These guys. Thank goodness we had one RPG. Uh, wait a second. Yes, we do. Oh, good. to go though. I'm not going to be able to go over there. I guess I have to go across here too. Get it yet? Not quite. Gosh, dang it. I'm just, I'm sort of speechless a lot of the time here because I'm just getting shot from so many different places and the cover. right there I'm like you know sprint he's like leisurely stroll into the open in front of a bunch of turrets no problem I'm like yeah that's exactly what I want man spawning people right behind him. We don't have the turret in our possession yet, good sir. behind me you gotta cover me if you want me to if you want me on the turret you gotta cover behind me
Forward to being done with this particular section. Something tells me we're gonna get up here and then have to defend from them, you know. Oh well, alright, here we go. M249 saw and a grenade launcher. One. I've wanted to use the non-lethal option throughout. Okay. Genuinely, where are we going? I get some ammo. I need ammo. Like, wasn't he already dead? The armor! Take out the fucking armor! The vault? Nope. I don't want to have to take him down. Is there a way to avoid it? Like it can't, it, like he was dead. Well, wait a second. I mean, our guy determined that he was dead, so who knows. All right, we need other guns. Yeah, we need, we need a gun. Why can't I pick up his gun? The only villain here is you, Walker. They'll be on us soon. There's only you. I, d I don't. <laughs> well, it seems like maybe avoiding him is an option. Shit! Another fucking enemy! Take cover, 
Wait a second. That's not... That's, that's not our guy, at least. Unless that, unless that still was him. Oh man. Doesn't matter if you hit him in the legs with this thing. Gotta go! Kill them all! I don't. So was the last time where I just ran That's away? One. It was still just that heavy, but our guy was visualizing yeah I bet that's what he was doing reloading take him the fuck out That's another one! Man. I got any intel. I'll take, I'll take this thing. Hopefully get some more ammo for it. Take cover. Oh man, that thing chews through those heavies. Just or Adams is fighting him back there. Wow. I'm sorry, Walker. But you knew it would end this way. <coughs> the friends dead. The world on fire. And you alone. Finally, something we have in common. <laughs> 
unsettling we got all this water and everything over here even wasting it with fountains which is gonna allow it to evaporate a whole lot more oh wow yeah even more he's got water for days Meet him upstairs. Welcome. I don't even seem to be able to shoot here. Surrender, sir. Dubai is yours. Where is Conrad? Where he's always been. Upstairs, waiting for you. And this is, uh... This is odd, guys. I don't mind telling you. Glad the elevators still work. I'm expecting some music here. Some nice... Oops. Some nice, uh... you'd lost your goddamn mind. Or I hope that's what happened. Oh, yes. That would have made things easier. But I wasn't that lucky. You sure about that? I assure you. I'm as sane as you are, Captain. Hmm. No matter how hard I tried, I never could escape the reality of what happened here. That was my downfall. Um. There, finished. I hope you like it. What the hell is going on? Your eyes are opening for the first time. It hurts, doesn't it? Go on. What do you think? Oh. You did this. No, you did. Your orders killed 47 innocent people. Someone has to pay for your crimes, Walker. Who's it gonna be? John? Is that you? You tell me. I'm done playing games, John. I assure you, this is no game. go Ooh. 
That's Conrad. It seems that reports of my survival have been greatly exaggerated. This is impossible. Boy, I assure you, it is. How? Not how. Why? You were never meant to come here. We have our orders. Leave the city, radio command from outside the Stormwall. They send in the cavalry, we go home. What happened here was out of my control. Was it? None of this would have happened if you just stopped. But on you marched. And for what? We tried to save you. You're no savior. Your talents lie elsewhere. This is your fault, God Stop damn it. right there, Lugo. He wouldn't listen! We didn't have a choice! He turned us into fucking killers! This isn't my fault. It takes a strong man to deny what's right in front of him. And if the truth is undeniable, Ooh. you create your own. What the hell happened? I don't know. He just stopped moving. Walker, snap out of it! I get it. We have to choose. The truth, Walker, is that you're here because you wanted to feel like something you are not. A hero. Lugo! You left me to die! I'm here because you can't accept what you've done. It broke you. Colonel? Colonel, please. What's going on, Walker? It's Conrad. He did it. All of it. You needed someone to blame. So you cast it on me. You're a dead man. I know the truth is hard to hear, Walker. But it's time. You're all that's left, and we can't live this lie forever. I'm going to count to five, then I'm pulling the trigger. You're not real. This is all in my head. Are you sure? Maybe it's in mine. What? No. Everything. All this. It was your fault. If that's what you believe, then shoot me. Two. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. No one ever does, Walker. Three. What? Four. Is this really what you Is want? this Fight Club? If I shoot him, I shoot myself? So be it. Five. What is this? This is Colonel John Conrad, United States Army. Has been evacuation of Dubai. What? I think... I think my guy shot himself? Wow. Boy, I, um... So Conrad was, was dead the whole time. Our guy was projecting situations and uh, the commentary. Yeah, he was never talking to Conrad. I mean, I guess the radio stuff, I don't know. I'll be interested to kind of review this, uh, you know, just listening to it on the channel, knowing now about that. I guess maybe none of the the other troops never talked to Conrad. And even when he gathered like the dog tags and picked up that radio and stuff, it was it was him that did it. It wasn't the others. 
stinks that they both died, though. Um, Lugo and Adams. Man. This was, this was something. I mean, you can understand why this game was so controversial. I, I'm under the impression there are multiple endings, and I honestly don't know if there is a good ending. Um, I'll do some looking at that later, but our guy was just going. He had some psychological issues based on whatever happened in uh, Kabul. But you can, I mean, you can, you can get why it was controversial. White phosphorus on civilians. The whole time you're shooting Marines or maybe, you know, local people who were being stirred up by the CIA perhaps. So, okay, so hang on. So the CIA people, at least Riggs, the guy that I let burn, he was real because the other guys talked to him. Lugo and Adams. I can't say for sure. No. Yeah, and and they did see uh, gold. So gold was real too. Okay, so the CIA people were real. And it seems that the 33rd... I don't know who was their acting commander if, uh, if what's-his-name was dead. Yeah, I mean... Was the thirty the 33rd was just functioning to try and keep order ish? I mean, I guess, man. I, I knew this would be a quick playthrough, um, but boy, boy, I, I was not expecting that those those twists at the end there. Um, but I'm, you know, without too many spoilers for the movie Fight Club. Uh, kind of a similar sort of premise here. And I wonder if I would have pulled the trigger, if, if I would have told the player character to shoot, if he would have been freed from Conrad's torment or control. I don't know. Yeah, they're showing multiplayer in the credits right now. It did have multiplayer. I don't know if it still does, but the the third uh, the third person movement here. I mean, my my problem with the A button doing the movement, uh, sp like sprinting, and being what you have to press to take cover was was really a problem for me there. Um, The gunplay felt pretty good. I liked the uh, diversity of the weapons, too. You got some real... I, I liked... I liked that we didn't have to fight to the top of the building. Like, that last little battle... Up the hill, you know, to, to the fort, basically. I I liked that. I, I thought that was that was a nice end point and even though Adams sacrificed himself like really like I don't know I look forward to watching this playthrough again just to see what Adams and Lugo were doing like Lugo just executed the radio guy like he had he had lost it Adams I didn't think that he shot boy I don't know I don't know what we did when they hung Lugo, like when the guy was attacking me, I did a melee attack and I thought that would just push him down. But maybe that spurred. Maybe that spurred Adams to attack. Maybe, I mean, maybe we killed a bunch of refugees trying to get out of there. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> Man. 
I was trying so hard for leg shots there too, you know, for how ridiculous, you know, that, that is, but that's what I was going for. Man, we'll see if there's any post credit scenes or anything here, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy I played this. I knew this was controversial. I knew about the white phosphorus. I didn't know about the rest of it. And yeah, I'm I'm going to have to watch this again to figure out because from the very beginning like what why were our three people just showing up and walking in, you know? Three three delta operatives just walking into Dubai, you know, the storm wall being 10 miles out or whatever. If they had that many functional helicopters, you know, I guess I don't I don't know exactly what the storm wall is, if that is like literally a giant wall that was built to help contain the storms or if it's more like uh, the like the eye of the storm. And, you know, that is the wall where the storm really begins. So they couldn't possibly fly out. Um, I'm thinking that it was like a, a big like physical wall that you could, you know, fly over um, if you needed to. But I mean, maybe not. Um, I don't know. Just the way that the mission kept evolving and the the, the two guys sticking with us, uh, Lugo and Adams. And then the CIA. Like, why was the CIA... I forget why, why the CIA was even stirring stuff. You know, why was it the CIA was trying to destabilize things? My, my own character's psychosis aside... Why? <laughs> you know, the CIA was trying to cover up whatever Conrad and his unit had done there after they stayed, perhaps, against orders. I mean, it sounded like there, there may have been... Well, I mean, boy, I don't know. We found that motive to, uh, to Conrad... But our guy interpreted that as, well, you know, Conrad had killed a bunch of people, but, you know, protected these people. But maybe that wasn't right. Maybe Conrad was. No, but Conrad definitely killed himself. Boy, I don't know. Something really bad happened that the evacuation just wasn't going to work. The 33rd seemed to try to maintain order and perhaps did so with too much force and um, and then our guy just came in and kind of helped the CIA wreck it yeah oh man and the uh, the opening screen here has been evolving um you know now it's a it's a right side up flag at least and there's no snipers sitting there anymore but you know it's not it's not a good situation <laughs> boy i'm gonna be thinking about this one for a long time i i'm i'm probably gonna have to go do like some videos or like watch some videos you know analyzing the story and seeing what the other endings were and uh and, and going from there you know At this point, I'm not totally sure what all was real. Like, we we definitely hit civilians with white phosphorus. Why did the 33rd have white phosphorus in the first place? Um, yeah. I just, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I I certainly did. I'm glad that I played it. It's it's a controversial game. It's a complex game. It's it's not just a bro shooter. And I think a lot of the time, like with the the slowdown on the headshots and asking if you feel like a hero and whatnot, you know, it was it, it was kind of making fun of some other like first person shooters. Um, but man, yeah, I'm going to be thinking about this one for a long time. Uh, so anyway, be sure to check out some of my uh, happier uh, commentary playthroughs <laughs> when you get a chance. And of course, thanks for watching.
Hey everybody, Future Adam here. I wanted to go back and kind of do a little bit of research about the other endings to the game. And so I'm now in the chapter select mode here. And uh, it's kind of interesting, you know, for anybody who is familiar with Dubai, like the chapter select, like clearly, like the, it, it's relaying the map here of what's happening. You know, we started out in this particular place and then we moved up chapter two, three, four. And if, you know, if you happen to be familiar with Dubai, you can kind of get a lay, uh, a, a little bit of a lay of the land of what was going on with all the sand here. Um, but I wanted to take another stab. Okay, we'll jump up to the chat with the colonel here. I'm going to count to five, then I'm pulling the trigger. You're not real. This is all in my head. All right, here we go. Are you sure? Maybe it's in mine. One. No. Everything. All this. It was your fault. If that's what you believe, then shoot me. Two. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. No one ever does, Walker. Three. It takes a strong man to deny what's in front of it. Stronger than you were. Whatever you say, Walker. No matter what happens next, don't be too hard on yourself. Even now, for all you've done, you can still go home. Oh. Lucky you. What now, sir? Huh? The men are asking. What do we do now? We complete our mission. And what mission would that be, sir? <laughs> Just get me a cut. Tim. Radio? This is Captain Martin Walker. Requesting immediate evacuation of Dubai. Survivors. One too many. Ooh. All right, so now we're after the credits. I mean, if it was this easy just to evacuate, why didn't we get it done? Commander, this is Falcon 1. I think we found him. Captain Walker. He's armed! It's okay. Hold your fire. I don't understand. What's he doing? Look at his eyes. Something's not right. Captain Walker, we are here to help. But first, I need you to lay down your weapon. He's not complying. He's shell-shocked. Give him a second. Just hand me your weapon, Captain. It's over. He's wearing Conrad's jacket. Time to go home. And I'm hoping they got the civilians out too. You know, Captain, we drove through this whole city to find you. We saw things. You don't mind me asking, what was it like? How'd you survive all this? Who said I did? Hmm. Yeah, so if I would have, if I would have known, um, you know, about the different endings and how to prepare for them and everything, that's, that's probably what I would have chosen. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to 
take a look at one of those other endings. There's he he could have fought that squad that was trying to rescue him, and uh, then of course he either wins or he dies. And so, um, you know, there there are a few options there. Um, so anyway, uh, hope you enjoy this. I do appreciate it, and of course, thanks for watching. <laughs>